Hello, this is Easy, and I'm going to show you how to make your own customized gizmo. This is a gizmo here where you can move the object around, rotate it around, and it has these icons on the top here um, for different settings. Okay, I'm going to show you how to customize and make your own. This is in ZBrush 4 R8, and it will only work for ZBrush 4 R8, the first version that came out that's got the gizmo. And been waiting for this gizmo for quite a long time and it makes it a whole lot easier Now I have a script that I'm going to be running to make things easier. There was a guy on YouTube uh, Michael I don't know how to pronounce his last name But when you download this file and in zip file there'll be a text file with a credit and It'll have his name in there for the credit So basically I'm going to show you kind of how I did it uh, you can do it any way you want to load it but how I loaded it was I if you got it in a zip file, you extract the folder onto your desktop. All right, I open up Lightbox. As you can see here, it says Easy Gizmo Shortcut. Uh, what I did was once it's a folder on my desktop, I right clicked it and created a shortcut. Then I right clicked again and press Cut. Then I took it over to the Z Project folder and pasted it in here. So actually, it's in the Z Project folder and actually it is still on my desktop. So if I want to alter any of this, and in my desktop these files will still be here so that's kind of how I did it so we're going to double click this and these are my files I'm going to be using so if, to load these up I'm going to use this arrow double click it's going to load over in the right tool uh, this is a gizmo uh, this is actually just a template this is a 3d object it's going to load that and down here this is the easy gizmo zsc this is the script itself and to see the script we're going to click up like this and we're going to open up the sub tools so I can kind of explain what's going on here as you can see we got some naming with some buttons okay it starts from left to right and it kind of works in conjunction with this naming over here from top to bottom so we got the standard gizmo move screen space then rotate screen space and it's just in order same way standard uh, move and rotate if we go to the bottom list it says scale Z and that's the last one and the last one over here is scale Z so they're listed in order and um, thing not to do is rename these or change any color probably because it won't work uh, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and select this arrow and I want to replace it over top of this uh, red one here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, select that red one here and right here click once uh, be very careful about double clicking because you'll end up hiding something so single click you see it's active and for this to work you need to press insert okay that's the only way this thing will work if you accidentally press a pin um, it won't work so for less confusions and so you don't confusion and you don't screw up and press a pin let's set a hotkey for the insert here so the control key alt key held down click I'm going to say assign a hotkey for this, so every time I press a hotkey, it's going to press uh, insert. So I already did that. Um, this tool is selected. I'm going to replace it, so I'm going to press the hotkey. Um, instead of doing the hotkey, I'll just show you right now one time with the button first, like that. I'm going to put it here. All right, now it's up here. The arrow's on the top, and it needs to be over here on the right. So I'll press move. Click it, hold the shift key, and snap down. Uh, once it gets down here, I like to go back and draw mode to get rid of the gizmo to see what's going on. Uh, another thing is, you see, this is the active one right here, and you'll notice there's a bunch of buttons. If you're confused of what you don't understand which button to select, it's always going to be the one above the, your active one. So it says move X, and this is the button I'm going to be selecting. Now, as you can see, I move my cursor back and forth. I am not selecting anything. So be cautious that I am not selecting, just moving my cursor. So I want to press the button called Move X, and I'm going to press Move X. And I'm going to pop up. Always OK. That would just one pop up. Uh, then we're going to target the green one. So I'm going to single click here. And if you need to see it, you can see it update here. I'm going to use my hotkey now so I don't screw up. Uh, you can see it already replaced the uh, green one or in the same spot. And 
I don't have to rotate anything and that was the move Y so we'll go move Y and we're going to do this blue one here use my hot key we're going to rotate that around and that was move Z Okay, now we got that done. Um, now if we come up here and we have this one, we'll call it Move Screen Space right here. We'll turn on Solo. Um, it appears there's four of these right here and there's only one. So I'm going to just show you how to do that. So let's set up a, well, press my hotkey. I don't do the arrow this time. I'm going to use a circle here. And I'm going to scale that down. Oh, let's press Move. I'm going to need to turn Solo back off so I can see where to place these. So I'm going to just set this right here. And what's going to happen is it's going to replace uh, these little triangles. So I'll just set it right here. And I'm going to duplicate these by holding the control key down and keeping it held down. So we're going to go click, click. And it's just duplicating them. Not getting precise. Uh, I don't like to see the gyro. And that one was called Move Screen Space. And there it is. Now I could do more to this. Um, now we need to save this file here. Alright. So what we're going to do is press Save As. This is called a ZTL file. And we need to locate the folder this needs to be in to work. Uh, okay, mine's going to be a little different than yours. So. And start it up and it's called gizmo 3d I'm gonna click here now there's gonna be a bunch of files in here I would suggest highly to right click all them and zip them up so you don't uh, overwrite any of these so you this one here is the same name as this one we do not want to overwrite that one all right so zip them up and keep them safe we'll call this my one gizmo and press save and now for this to work, uh, ZBrush has to be shut down all the way and restarted. I'll be right back. Okay, I paused the video and I shut down ZBrush and restarted it. And here is the standard gizmo. And if you want to find the one that you uh, made, your custom one, preference here I had it open here so that's why this palette is open and go to the gizmo 3d and you're just gonna press next until you get to your gizmo that you made your custom one so we'll click here until we find it and it's right and there it is and once you get it up there um, you want to double check everything to make sure everything's working correctly so we're gonna try this This is working, and the screen space is working. Alright, the link will be below the video that you can download this script. And another thing is, when I upload these videos, um, I'm kind of restricted on my bandwidth. Um, so once I upload it, I kind of rarely reply to my videos. Uh, because once I reply, the video starts playing and eats up more of my bandwidth. Not that I'm being stuck up, I'm just kind of being... Uh, little uh, conservative about my bandwidth but anyway this is it and thank you very much